Hi guys, we're going to make a video about giants on planet Earth and we're going to talk about the tissue of the humans. And so we're going to start by showing you a chart. Okay, on planet Earth was civilization long time ago uh, and everything was giant. Earth was planet of giants from 100 million to 300 million. And everything was giant planet earth was everything was giant giant trees giant animals giant humans of uh, 200 300 400 500 and even taller and what's the evidence right here uh petrified wood and trees mud fossil of human giants mud fossil footprints and mud fossil animals after showing this, let's go back to the pictures. And so I'm going to show you a, um, because we are talking about muscles, I'm going to show you a picture about Petra Jordan. And I'm going to let the play. And I'm going to lower the volume because I'll do the talking this time. Okay. And so I want you to see this part. Okay. You see this looks like meat, but it's, we are talking about muscles of a giant. And so this is what it is. This is tissue from a giant. So let's go walk, but put this in mind. Let's walk inside this room. There you go. As we walk, we walk inside the room, you'll see that this tissue will show like real meat uh, from Tissue from a giant. Look at this. Look at the inside the room. Look at this. Um, the muscles. Look at the uh, tissue. Um, as you go further, you'll see on top on the roof. You'll see that this is total muscle. All right. So that's all I want you to see that. So inside these temples were uh, tissue from giants. Okay. Now this is this is in Arizona, and the same thing except that this is exposed to the sun. This is tissue from giants. So let's move it to that. And so this is the, um, we're going to talk about, okay, I'm going to show you that we're going to talk about right here about the shoulder. This is the muscle. So, okay, let's listen to this guy, but I'm going to make sure that there's volume to it. So um, there you go. Listen to this guy. We're going to go into a little muscle mountain. Now, everybody who's been paying attention to the mud fossils knows that literally the earth seems to be constructed of creatures. I mean, that's all that's as far as I can get to it. It seems to be the titans were, were factually correct. And, and Gaia and, and the earth appears to have been constructed of gigantic creatures. Now, this for all the world, I'm pretty sure this is the uh, is a shoulder area of a, a giant creature. I mean, this and even this is not not a giant creature compared. Okay, I gotta stop because he's gonna change the subject. He's gonna talk talk about. Well, right now he started talking about the giants, but it seems he's talking about that he's they're not giant. They're not giant as the other kid creatures. So he's talking about a dragons these are were bigger than the giants uh, human giants so uh, so I'll let you know let's listen keep listening to him compared to what the earth is literally constructed of but it's something that we can easily see and, and discuss on a more uh, reasonable way than looking at the planet and say oh this is just one big gigantic thing one by but, but but i can say that those things that i have pointed out i have a hard time like lake natron and uh the fetus that's grown in the desert and, and the dragon and the leviathan and all those things i don't see anybody going to be able to say that that's wrong okay i want to show you once again he's talking about dragons they were bigger than giants uh I say 200, 300, 500,000 miles big, bigger. So um, just to let you know, in case you're interested, maybe you can start searching for that. All right, let's just keep talking about this. Now, 
And I don't see anybody in the world going to be able to say this is wrong. Yeah, this is muscle. This is virtually no question whatsoever. Uh, you know, we know that that's a, a, a vein area, a little vein black spot, and then of course your, your red blood runs out in a rusty red color. And look at this construction of muscular tissue and this particular transitional area. Let's take a look at what we have in a biological um, uh, picture that might take us a little deeper into this. All right, I mean, I can see a lot of uh, similarities to what we were just looking at, and there's that transitional area, and I believe the things running up were running up to a head. And this was a shoulder that we just saw, and that was that transitional area that I pointed out. Now, I could be wrong. It could be somewhere else on the body, but I'm just looking at what I'm looking at. It's just an... Okay, he's going to show you other stuff, but um, I got to show you this. All right, so is the same place, the same desert. This is uh, between uh, Arizona and Utah. And this place is very famous. Uh, people go and see because it's so beautiful, but it's, a, it's all muscle tissue from giants. Okay, so let's go and, and listen to this guy. Keep listening to this guy. Let's do it. And here's some more muscle mountain here. And these are where the muscle tissues invest and the stretchiness is here. It, it's, it's quite obvious if you know biology and anatomy and all that business. And of course you have to know the chemistry of how, why these colors occur and where you find different areas squirting out. There are they're different blood, blood chemistry really is what it is. Now I'm pretty sure. All right, so he's going to show you other stuff because he got a lot of things to show you. But me, I have to show you other stuff also. It's about planet Earth. Uh, it says over here, magnetic extinction. And it's about planet Earth and pole shift and pole reversal. Ma uh, the Earth has a, a cycle every 12,000 years, and this is really is a complete cycle. Uh, means that Planet Earth changed everything, everything um, from, uh, you know, from tropical to desert to in, in to move it in different places also. So uh, let's talk about every, like I say, every 12,000 years, the Earth suffers a cycle and it's about, about, well, pole shift, pole reversal. Okay, let's do it. 12,000 years ago, if you follow the line, it says um, extinction, global extinction, global disaster, because it's every 12,000 years, so 24, 36, 48, 60, 72. And then if you follow this line, you'll see that it's global disaster also. Global extinction, global disaster. 12,000 years ago was an ice age also. And so if you, 12,000 years ago, it was an ice age. This means that every fifth cycle is an ice age. One, two, three, four, five. And that these cycles change everything on planet Earth. Let's go to the next chart. Okay. Okay. Before I forget, I'm going to talk about this. This civilization, if you see this chart, it is, they exist 300 million, right? 300 millions. If you divide it 300 in a 12,000 year cycle, it's going to give you a lot of cycles. This means that this civilization experienced a lot. So they learn a lot from 300 millions. Okay, let's go back to the pictures. Okay, so this is pole shift. Okay, this is the North Pole, South Pole. This is the center of the North Pole. If you follow the line, the line is excellent. The center, that means it's moving out. And so in the South Pole, same thing. If you follow the line, this is leaving the center of the South Pole. This means Earth is getting ready for a pole shift. Okay, this is the map of the new uh, North Pole and South Pole. As you see over here, it says uh, North Magnetic Pole pole in motion and this is the new north pole and this is the new south pole 
So when the earth is getting get ready for pole shift, this is going to flip. It's going to flip to the north, and this is going to flip to the south. And so this means the north pole is going to move to the tropics, and the south pole is going to move, replace the, the also this new place. So south pole is going to move to tropics also. All right, so... Okay, I'm going to continue with the arena fire. It's very important. The arena fire goes around the world, uh, in all over the world, and there is places where it touches Earth over here, and so. But what I'm trying to say is, when the Earth gets ready for a pole shift, he uh, the Earth selects the most active volcano. In this case, this is the most active volcano. And this, because it's been so active, it's been polarized. And that's that's why it becomes like a North Pole. So let's talk about the arena fire once again. The arena fire goes over here. And so all over the world, 90% is in the water, or maybe 99% on the water. But when there's ready to um, pole shift, all this arena fire is going to release uh, the poison gas. It's called carbon dioxide and this is going to claim a severe climate change that's the beginning of, uh, of everything's going to change okay now we we already say that let's talk about this this new north pole because this is just going to flip to the north so all living stock fish animals humans trees everything because trees are alive also so they're gonna flip together with the new pole shift, the new pole North Pole, and because the cycles every is every twelve thousand years, and and this over here has nothing, it's tropical, so it has no ice. So when this moves to the north, and the north is going to everything is gonna be in the bottom, and on top is gonna grow up ice. It's gonna be thick ice maybe uh, by tons of ice and because humans and animals are very soft tissue we're gonna be squished and become mud for 12,000 years and this mud is gonna collect minerals from water and ice and because it's 12,000 year cycle 12,000 years later the North Pole is, is when it's ready it's gonna go move to the tropics, and this mud, all this mud that was um, up north, now is in the tropics, and be exposed on by the sun. So the sun is gonna heat it and and bake all this mud, and this mud becomes hotter and hotter and hotter every day, and then become petrified. That's the second stage. This is the first stage. This is the second stage. That's when we become petrified and um, hardest rocks. So now I'm telling you that. Uh, let's move it to the next. Okay. Um, here it says 1850. If you follow the line, it says to 2000, to 10, to 15. If you follow this red line, it goes 2050. But it is before that. And you can make a guess 25, 2020. 5 2030 that's when approximately that's the new pole shift so let's move it to the next one okay uh, this is about the sun okay soon however both poles will be reversed and the second half of solar max will be underway when that happens Hoxima and Shira will share the news with their colleagues and the public okay so now I'm going to show you uh, planet earth the pole shift. Eric Ivins gets to the problem. Our magnetic field may be in the process of flipping. Are we talking about a total flip? North is south, south is north. We'll have a compass that used to look at north and all of a sudden it'll be. All right, so you know, now you know um, when planet Earth was giants, uh, that's why we have a lot of, uh, of mud fossils.